Call of Duty Zombies needs to become more competitive. Now, a lot of you might think I'm crazy for saying that because of course, at its core, Call of Duty Zombies is a co-op PVE mode. It's always been that, and that's definitely what it's excelled in, but that does not mean there is not room for some competitive, even PVP aspects to the Call of Duty Zombies experience. Let me explain. So of course, none of what I'm talking about here should ever take away that core co-op experience. I don't think they should start throwing in competitive stuff to like the main zombies game mode. For example, Modern Warfare for Zombies this year, there was a bunch of rumors about them adding PVP to it. And of course, if they were to throw PVP into the main playlist, that would be ridiculously stupid. But I always thought if they made a separate playlist with PVP enabled, that could actually be kind of fun. I don't think it would necessarily make the game better because I do have a lot of problems with MWZ as a whole, but we're not gonna be talking about MWZ PVP. That is not even what I'm focusing on this video. Just an example, but I do think as long as you retain that core experience and the competitive aspects are just additional things, then there's no problem and it'll only add to the game. So just some reasons as to why competition is important to zombies and why it should be included. First of all, Competition is fun. Like, it's a very simple thing. It's just fun. The feeling of winning, beating someone, getting better at them, that is a great feeling to have. And even the feeling of losing is great because you can learn from it. And eventually when you do win, it feels great. And that feeling of sometimes losing and then other times winning is especially great for games that are very easy at its core. For example, Black Ops Cold War, very easy zombies mode, so easy to the point where I never really felt the feeling of losing because I feel like every time I ever did an Easter egg run, it would be pretty much like, okay, I'm guaranteed I'm probably gonna be able to do this 90% of the time. And same thing goes for just any high round run, whatever round you're going to. Like most of the time you feel like you can pretty confidently do what you're planning to do because the game is pretty easy by default. But if they throw in some competitive things within the Cold War Zombies experience, some separate modes that had competitiveness to it, then perhaps there would actually be a level of challenge there. And you would actually have like, you're going against other players, for example, and all of a sudden, now there is that feeling of winning and losing back and forth, which like I said, is a rewarding feeling, especially if you're actually being rewarded for winning. And lastly, it just encourages players to play with other people more often. I feel like for me, I'm a very big solo player. I much prefer playing zombies by myself, but if there's more competitive modes, well, of course I'm going to start playing with more people because it's the whole aspect of competition. You want to go play with other people. You want to compete against them. You can't really compete by yourself. That's not really a thing unless you're competing against bots. But again, that would just be PVE then. So yeah, that's exactly to me what competition does. It just kind of makes that community aspect a lot stronger. And especially against your friends, like how many amazing games you could have with your friends, just creating all these challenges, stuff like that is a lot of fun. But the question is, how can Treyarch or any other Call of Duty Zombies developer make zombies more competitive? What sort of aspects could they add to the experience to make it more competitive? Before we get into that, however, let's talk about what zombies has already done in terms of competitiveness in the past. First of all, one of the most obvious things is Grief Mode from Black Ops 2. Grief Mode is incredibly fun and incredibly successful. Tons of people love to play Grief in Black Ops 2. Essentially, the way this mode worked is you have four players on one team and four players on another team. If you play it in private matches, you can do 3v3, 2v2, whatever you want to do. And you essentially have this format where it's like normal round based, the rounds go up and you get points, you get guns, you pack a punch your weapon. There's different maps you can play on different areas, but the goal is to survive as long as possible to outlive your opponents. That is the pure, simple goal. In simple terms, it's essentially last team standing wins, but it's a little bit different than normal zombies because you actually can do certain things to mess up the other players. You can shoot them and melee them to stun them. This does not hurt them. It does not damage them, but it does stun them a little bit. It makes it a bit harder for them to survive against the zombies. The only way to actually kill other players is to utilize the traps on the map. And this is most prevalent on the cell block version of Mob of the Dead, which is of course the grief version of Mob of the Dead. You can utilize a lot of the traps there, like the acid trap and the fan trap in order to kill enemy players. And that's definitely one of the most popular things people do within that mode. They just keep turning on the traps every chance they get when someone walks by so they can try to take down the enemy team as fast as possible. And yes, grief is something I would absolutely love to see return. Even in other games, me and my friends would create our own versions of grief. We would play like Black Ops 3, for example, hop on Dorizen Drock, and we would just say last last man standing wins. We'd play with the four of us and just whoever is the last person to remain alive 
is the last person standing. If you go down, you have to quit the game. So stuff like that we would do all the time, but obviously having a public playlist for that in every game would be fantastic. And I can't believe Black Ops 2 is the only game to actually do that. Of course, there's also Turned from Black Ops 2, but honestly, this mode kind of stunk. There really wasn't much competition there. Like, sure, there, it is still technically a competitive mode, but there's not much strategy behind it. There's not much intrigue. Not really a mode I play that often. I don't really care to ever see this return, but if it does, I mean, I'm not going to say no to it, but I, I can care less. Black Ops 4's rush mode has a competitive aspect to it where you are kind of competing for points. You're not killing each other, but you are still competing for points, and it is sort of competitive, but it's not the best mode ever. I think it's, you know, fun here or there. And Dead Ups Arcade is kind of in a similar boat where, yes, you're not killing each other, but at the same time, it still is competitive because you are fighting for points based on how many points you have. You either get first place, second place, third place, or fourth place. And even if, you know, it doesn't have a competitive aspect to it, Dead Ups Arcade is still fantastic, and of course, I would love to see this return. Out of all all these, I would say Grief is definitely the most competitive and is the one I probably want to return the most out of any of these. But what if I told you that there's a better version of Grief out there? There's a much better version that, in my opinion, should be the version of Grief that we get in Black Ops 6 or any future Call of Duty Zombies experience. And that is Zombie Blood Rush from Black Ops 3, specifically with PC mod tools. So this is a mode created by Anthony or Sirius. He goes by both of those names and he is a fantastic modder and he created one of the best zombies experiences I've ever had in my entire time playing Call of Duty Zombies. And of course, this is, like I said before, Zombie Blood Rush. Recently, I got done doing a tournament with this mode. It was a part of the Zombies for Charity series, and it was a fantastic event. We did a tournament style with a bunch of 2v2 games. And for those of you that have never played Zombie Blood Rush before, let me just explain what it actually is like. So you can do 2v2s, 3v3s, 4v4s. You can even just do a free for all with as many players up to, I think it's like eight or something, and maybe even more. I'm not sure if they added more or not, but it is basically just you get thrown into a zombies map. It is on any Black Ops 3 map, including Zombies Chronicles, as well as some of the custom maps that have support for it. And you essentially go through the rounds just like Grief, where you have, you know, rounds go by. And the whole goal is to get 100,000 points. But once you get 100,000 points, you have to hold it and keep above 100,000 points for a certain period of time. The catch is that you lose points based on getting hit by zombies and getting killed by other players. Yes, you can kill other players. Killing each other is enabled in this mode, but because your points are tied to your health, the time to kill is pretty slow, especially if you have a lot of points. So it ends up just turning into this insane back and forth between you and enemy players, and it is insanely fun. If you just watch my stream, if you watch these Zombies for Charity stream and you look over some of the highlights, there are some insane moments in those games that are like the most intense Zombies moments I've ever had. And I love when there's a slower time to kill in multiplayer, but this is like insanely slow time to kill. And like I said, obviously it based on how many points you have, but it's such a balanced mode. Anthony did a great job of just designing it and making it so really any team can win at any point. If you are really far behind and the enemy team has a lot of points, it is not impossible to come back and win. You can use gobble gums, you can use wonder weapons, you can use your pack a punch weapons, you can do whatever you want that is available on that map itself. So for example, on Origins, yes, you can get the staffs. Yes, you can upgrade the staffs. You can even utilize the Maxis drone to kill other players. And on other maps like Shadows of Evil, you can utilize the Civil Protector to kill other players. You can utilize everything available on the map, at least that Anthony allowed to be on the map. And that just makes it so much fun because it turns into this just insane multiplayer experience with a bunch of zombies thrown in. Of course, zombies are still spawning in all over the place. Now, with the whole 100,000 points thing, there is a 45 minute time limit. So if you hit that limit and no one has ever gotten 100,000 points and kept it over the, the 100,000 points for at least two minutes, then it goes into sudden death. And sudden death is this really insane three minute sequence where zombies are like super sprinting at you and it's essentially last man standing at that point. Now, if everyone is still standing in the end or at least multiple different teams are standing in the end, then it just goes to whoever has the most points at that point. So there's just so many crazy situations where you have to debate with yourself. Do you want to push other players and try to kill them or should you just stick to your own section of the map and just train zombies and get as many points as possible? Because yes, there's a risk versus reward going on there. You can risk your, your points to go attack enemy players. You probably will lose a lot of points based on if they kill you or if they just, you know, shoot you a bunch 
but you can also kill them, which will take away a lot of their points and will also give you more points. So it's a really interesting risk versus reward scenario and playing offensively or defensively is a really big back and forth thing you have to think about when playing this mode. And especially when it gets to sudden death, you have to think to yourself, okay, well, if I have less points than an enemy player, I have to go kill them because if they stay alive and they don't lose any points from the zombies, well, then they're gonna win the game. So I have to go attack them now. Or if you have more points in them, you can comfortably sit back and just maybe wait for them to come to you you can play defensively it's, it's such an interesting dynamic and i think it is the most fun competitive zombies experience that has ever existed and treyarch would be fools not to do something like this in black ops 6 because holy shit this would completely change the game it would make it so much more replayable and it would essentially bring that multiplayer aspect that a lot of multiplayer fans love into zombies, but in a very different way that I think fans would love and it would not take away from the core round based experience at all. And that's not the only mod tool mode that I think would be really cool for official zombies modes in the future. There's also gun game, and this is the one that I think would be the easiest to implement because it's very simple. You just throw every player that's in this game, maybe like four or five, six, however many players that it can go up to into a lobby on any map and you spawn in with the starting pistol or whatever like pistol they want to start with. And you have to get a certain amount of kills or maybe certain amount of points with that weapon to move on to the next gun. And you just keep going until maybe you go through every gun in the game, maybe like 30, 40 guns. And whenever you reach the last gun, you get the final kill with that gun. Whoever got to it first wins, just like gun game and multiplayer. So essentially what it becomes is a fight for zombie kills. That's essentially what it would be. And obviously if you go down, maybe you'll go like back one weapon, you'll spawn back in right away, or maybe like within like, you know, the next round or something like that, but you will go down a gun. So it makes it harder for you to come back. And again, just make it just like a normal zombies map where yes, you can buy perks. You can even pack a punch your weapon and then your weapons will be pack a punch from there on out. But the overall experience of going through guns and trying to kill zombies as fast as possible would be very interesting when you're going against other players and doing that and i think just the, the the aspect of just cycling through different guns and getting to try out everything in one game would just be really really fun in the zombies experience and for this mode playing it solo would actually work just fine because you can kind of challenge yourself to get through the guns as fast as possible maybe they can like give you a speed run timer so you can try to challenge yourself and get your best possible times stuff like that would be really cool and i know i talked about this slightly earlier in the video but i do think if they do bring back some open world zombies experience like MWZ, you might as well make a PvP version of it as well. I know there's a lot of DMZ fans out there. I never really got too into DMZ. Every time I did play it though, I had a decent time. It wasn't terrible. But if you were to throw players into a zombies map and open world experience and have it so you can like go around looting just like you do in MWZ, but every now and then you come across an enemy player and then you now you get into a gunfight with them with zombies surrounding you. I actually think that would be kind of interesting. Of course, you could still have the side separate mode where it's purely PVE, so you can just focus on your challenges and your Easter eggs without worrying about getting killed by other players. But I also sometimes want that experience where I do fight other players. So I don't see the problem with them adding another game mode like that. A lot of people seem to have had a problem with that when we heard the rumors. I personally would be fine with it, and I probably would play it a little bit. I wouldn't play it that much, I'm sure, but it would definitely be an added thing that I think would be a little interesting. And the last thing I want to talk about here in terms of competitive aspects in Call of Duty Zombies actually isn't something where it requires you to have other players in your game. And this is an idea I've had for a long time and I think would actually revolutionize the zombies experience and would get so many people playing every single week, especially streamers and YouTubers, you would have people streaming this every single week let me explain what this is so this idea is weekly challenges where you have three different challenges that you can do and it changes every single week and those challenges will put you on a large scoreboard against a bunch of other people perhaps you know in total and all players or maybe it'll be like regional and you get rewards if you are a top player at the end of that week based on that challenge. So let me get a little more specific because maybe that was a little confusing for some people. Just one example for one of the challenges per week would be an Easter egg speed run. So let's talk about Black Ops 4. Let's use that as an example. Let's say one week, the Easter egg speed run challenge of the week was the nine Easter egg speed run. So for that one week in particular, every time you do the nine Easter egg, at the very end of it, you have an option to submit this game to the challenge, like the challenge of the week thing. And if you do that, your challenge will now be on that leaderboard. Your time, whatever speedrun time you got doing the Easter egg 
will be put on the leaderboard. It only will count for that week when the challenge is active. Of course, if you get this speedrun world record thing after it or before it, it wouldn't count. It has to be during that week itself and you will get added to the scoreboard. And a bunch of players would be hopping on for this. Even non speedrunners would probably just at least try to see how high they can get. And to me, that would be really, really interesting. Just seeing a bunch of people trying to compete for the best speedrun time on a map within a week. Of course, you have a bunch of world record people out there that will definitely be knocking this out of the park. But to be fair, you only have a week to do it. So maybe those players just wouldn't play that week or maybe they just wouldn't get the best possible time because a lot of it is relying on RNG. A lot of people always talk about that events like Zombies for Charity, Easter Eggs for Charity, and even the Zombie World Championships. A lot of it is reliant on RNG because when you're doing an event in the moment, if you get a bad game, it's game over for you. And of course, you can just get bad luck. That's a possible thing. But when you have a week long process where you can just do it a bunch of times, RNG isn't really a major factor anymore because you probably get at least one decent game within that week, assuming you play it a lot. And it doesn't just have to be a simple Easter egg speedrun. They can get a little bit creative later on. So obviously this wouldn't work for Black Ops 4, but let's say in Cold War, you would have an Easter egg speedrun for Firebase C, and it wouldn't just be the Firebase C Easter egg speedrun, but instead it would be the Firebase C Easter egg speedrun, but with no Juggernaug. So you can't run Juggernaug at all in that game. And perhaps there'd be a separate mode for it that would literally take away Juggernaug completely. So now there's a whole nother layer to this speedrun. You can't just easily do it like you have like done it before you now have to do it without the best perk in the game which completely changes how you go about the speedrun and will probably make the times not as good or it could be no perks completely like there's a bunch of different things they can do and i think that would be incredibly interesting and as for the other challenges they should have more per week it wouldn't just be this one you would also have a high round speed run because of course you want to give the high round community something to do so maybe it'd be a round 50 speed run or around 100 speed run something like that just letting players get to a high round as fast as humanly possible and again just like I talked about before you would have different maps each week and you'd also have different challenges so maybe one week it would be snipers only or one week it would be no perks high round or it would be no power whatever it may be just something different that kind of spices it up week to week and allows a bunch of players all around the world to try to compete for this one thing every single week. And the last challenge should be specifically centered around some sort of grind because these other challenges are all speedrun based. Why not do one just for the players who like to play the living shit out of the mode? So for example, they can do a challenge like just getting as many sniper headshots as humanly possible in zombies within that seven day period. That's it. You just have to play a bunch and get as many headshots as possible. And whoever has the top 100 headshots within that week gets some sort of reward on the leaderboard. Now, in terms of rewards, I think they can maybe go even further than that, like maybe even top 500 players per week, because there would be a lot of people doing these 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 challenges. So I think rewarding as many people as possible is good. And, you know, obviously, as you get higher and higher, you get better rewards. So maybe it would be COD point related. I know that's kind of unrealistic of Activision to give away COD point rewards, but I think it would be really cool and it would definitely be worth it because imagine the number one place per week gets like a 5,000 COD point reward. Honestly, they should get you more than that, but 5,000 COD points would be enough for like two bundles. Doesn't sound too crazy. I'd prefer even more than that, but like I said, Activision probably wouldn't want to give away too many COD points to begin with. So at least something, if they get some sort of reward it can't just be some some shitty camo it, cod points is the best way to do it because then they can choose whatever they want out of the store and if it was 5,000 cod points that would be like i said two like big bundles and i think that would be pretty awesome and if they just did this every single week believe me everyone would be streaming this everyone would be playing everyone would be talking about it and it would literally keep zombies alive forever if they just kept doing this again and again and again every single year you would never have a down period for call of duty zombies assuming the mode was at least decent like it wouldn't even have to be an amazing zombies mode if it was just a decent zombies mode you would still get so many people involved just for the challenge just for the competitiveness people would be dying for that and believe me it would make zombies so much more fun. Easter egg speedruns have kept zombies alive for a long time. It's a big part of the community. A lot of people don't realize that, but there are people doing Easter egg speedruns on Black Ops 2 and 3 to this day. And those games are almost 10 years old now. Well, Black Ops 2 is more than 10 years old. Black Ops 3 is almost 10 years old now. And yeah, 
it, people are still doing it. So clearly there's an audience there and I do think this would be awesome to actually include it in the game itself. The only issue with this is of course hackers exist and people could do fine exploits and do glitches and whatnot and that would obviously make it unfair but honestly if it was an exploit or a glitch I feel like anyone is capable of doing glitches so maybe it wouldn't really matter because if anyone's capable of doing it then anyone can do it for that one week and hopefully Trek would just patch it within the next week or something like that but for hackers that would get kind of annoying but you know Activision's been trying to deal with those lately so perhaps they can find an automated system to just completely get rid of that entry in the leaderboard if they did hack that could be a way to do it i have no idea but i don't know overall this would just be really really insane if they can nail it i would love it and even if treyarch does not go through with any of these ideas and doesn't try to make zombies competitive at all in the future titles the community is still going to be doing everything they can to make these amazing competitive events we've had so many over the past seven or eight years it all started with easter eggs for charity led by noah j456 i think a lot of you know what that was those were amazing events to experience and then over the years the community has just done so many even smaller events with smaller creators and it's been amazing to see of course there's also zombies for charity which has been going on every single year since 2019 and i've personally taken part in it every single year since 2020 and those events are some of the most fun i've ever had in zombies literally every single year the event is always an incredible time the practicing is really fun you get to meet a lot of people and i'm telling you the competition brings so many people together it completely changes how we view the zombies experience and of course easter eggs for charity and zombies for charity it's all for a great cause we're all raising money for charity so it's great for a multitude of reasons and then there was also the zombies world championships led by mc sports hawk which those went on for a couple different years there's three of them in total i don't believe he's planning on doing any more but watching that event from the sideline was incredibly fun and i'm telling you i would love to see more stuff like this in the future I just think it would be a lot easier if Treyarch actually implemented direct ways to do these different challenges in game and do these different tournaments. But regardless, like I said, the community is always going to come together and find their own way like we've been doing for the past eight years. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed watching. I will see you guys all in my next one. Peace out.